I have left my job and I will now be streaming full time on twitch.tv forward slash Ludwig Ogren. Welcome to the game, boys! Oh my god, Ludwig and Chat. How are there that many G's in a name? I grind to get there, man. I grind for these views. Dumb rich children. That's how slime words it. He's right. Every streamer is a dumb rich baby child. God damn. And I'm one of them. We are going to be doing our first ever uncapped subathon. And when I say uncapped, I mean if this bitch goes 48 f***ing hours, I will be live for 48 f***ing hours. This Sunday we will start and I have no clue when we will end. Boys, today we are doing you laugh, you lose. The loser gets a tattoo on their ass. It's because they laugh. Super go. How many times do I have to ask? Put me in my own fucking lobby. This is the impossible meat. It kind of looks like roast beef. All right, fill up, bud. There it is. This is the new record on Twitch for most subscribers all time. Welcome to the fastest growing Twitch stream on Twitch.tv, baby. A vast majority of streamers out there have one thing in common. They are unknown. Only a select few ever make it big, and they all go about it differently. Some are unapologetically loud. Others are quiet in a way that fills up the room. A corpse? What up, baby? <laughs> Some will make you laugh. This is fun. Oh no. <laughs> what is that? Why? <laughs> Why have you done this? Others will make you cry. Uh, last year, my dad passed away from cancer, and that whole year or six months, I was taking care of him by myself. It was the hardest time of my life, and um, you guys really like stuck around and helped me through that. A few will try to help you understand the world around you a little better. A liar. Pocahontas movie? I mean, it's a direct rip of Pocahontas. James Cameron's avatar is literally Pocahontas, but with aliens. But no matter how they do it, most truly successful streamers are genuinely having a good time. Sometimes it can be hard to quantify what exactly makes someone popular online. But in the case of Ludwig Ogren, it's pretty easy. He's charming, well-spoken, confident, and recently broke the record for the most subs on Twitch. There it is! You were here! This is the new record on Twitch for most subscribers all time. Holy shit, that was insane. Ludwig grew up in Hollis, New Hampshire, graduating from a local high school in 2013. It was around this time that he discovered his passion for video games, specifically Call of Duty. If you could see my face when I actually accomplished this challenge of only turning right, it, it was like, pooping and um, having an orgasm at the same time. That's the only words I can use to describe it. And the feeling was even better than that. After moving to Arizona to attend Arizona State University, Ludwig got into Super Smash Bros. Melee, a scene he would continue to be involved in for years to come. Every single person I live with, I, I met through Smash. My streaming career started from Smash. And uh, so it's just like a community that, that, that spawned me, I guess, you know? Outside of gaming, Ludwig also tried his hand at stand-up comedy at Tempe Late Night Comedy Club, where he sharpened his performance skills for his dream job of being a talk show host. It's also what gave me the legs to feel confident enough to stream. There's a big difference between bombing on stage, doing stand-up comedy, in feeling, like literally feeling the people's silence when you expect laughter, and then like streaming on Twitch 
and then like you drop a joke and no one really little w's because you guys leave and i don't know when you leave which is cool ludwig graduated from arizona state with a double major in english lit and journalism and mass communication in 2017. It was that same year that he saw some limited success competing in melee tournaments, taking sets off players like Chillin' Dude and Vro. But when it came down to it, Ludwig did a lot more damage as a commentator than as a player. I could have gone pro in Smash if you gave me 10 years and everybody else froze in time for a while. Is it Naruto? How do I say it? So, so I don't get roasted. Naruto. Naruto. I think some people say Naruto. I say Naruto. But I just say, I just say Naruto. He even put together his own net play tournament, initially called the Ludwig Ogren Championship Series, an event that has undergone a few name changes since its launch, but has consistently drawn big names like Sfat, Mango, and Zane to participate. While commentating a Smash tournament in California, Ludwig met his veritable partner in crime and eventual roommate, Slime, who invited Ludwig to be part of his podcast, Bad Melee. I like to commentate because I just like talking and I have Asperger's or, you know, like I just, I just like speaking and <laughs> Dipping his toes into the world of competitive Smash and podcasting, made Ludwig realize that maybe being a talk show host wasn't what he actually wanted to do. And so during this time, I'm trying to think, what is the quickest way to earn money? And obviously, my mind went to, oh, I'm a young boy. I got a lot of free time to my myself. I've been honing my skills. I got a couple swimmers. How about I try the wonderful world of sperm donation. Then again, there was also streaming, something Ludwig had wanted to get serious about for a long time. Of course, it's a lot easier to get the ball rolling when you're close to all the action. And so Ludwig applied to jobs in both New York and Los Angeles. And when he got a call back for a web editor gig in LA, he packed up his stuff and moved across the country to pursue his dreams. Unfortunately, just as he was starting to get used to his new life, Ludwig got fired. In the HR later, and they're just staring at me. There's no easy way to say this, but we're letting you go. I was like, what the f Bitch, I moved to LA for this job. I don't have anything. And this wouldn't even be the last time. Throughout his time in LA, pretty much every job Ludwig had ended with him getting the boot. I got let go. I, I was literally working part-time uh, marketing at a vape company while working uh, as a streamer. And I was like, oh, I'll keep doing this until I have $10,000 in my savings account. And then I got let go at 7K. So it hasn't been really much of a choice. I'm just not the best worker, I guess. <laughs> and I didn't realize that until I got fired five times. But Ludwig took his professional mishaps as a sign to focus on what was truly important to him. He'd been making some modest strides on Twitch, and so in February 2019, he decided it was time to wholly devote himself to his streaming career. And I will now be streaming full time on twitch.tv forward slash Ludwig Ogren. Welcome to the fastest growing Twitch stream on Twitch.tv, baby. Except that announcement wasn't entirely accurate. Ludwig's last gig was one of the jobs he got let go from, but he had his reasons for padding the truth. And I didn't want it to seem like I was going full time only because I got fired. And I didn't want people to pity me or I didn't want it to overshadow the idea that going full time was something I actually had wanted to do, which is true. I did want to go full time and that was it. I just finally had the balls to do it. Fortunately, Ludwig not only had the balls, but also the face that instantly put him ahead of the pack. And before long, people began to take notice. I watch Twitch like this, right? Like I'll be watching a stream, I'll tune in for like a couple seconds, I'll have them say my name, and then I'll like slowly get a boner from every streamer saying my name. And once they say my name, I don't give a shit about anything they're doing anymore and I move on. Ludwig's stream didn't exactly hit the ground running right off the bat, but in the next few months, it picked up more and more viewers, thanks in large part to his willingness to try anything once. He's so happy over there, he's so happy, so. <laughs> All right, good luck, bud. 
That's how you do it. Let's go, blah. For a thousand, <laughs> it's a big one. From the hit song Mia Khalifa, the song goes, You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't kiss ya. He go <laughs> find another girl and he won't blank ya. She smells like shit. Beyond just embracing the weird shit his audience craved, Ludwig did something else. Something that set him apart from every other streamer, raging and screaming and just chatting. He put in the work to make sure that the bits, skits, and weird challenges were as polished as possible, and it set him apart from his peers. Lud would always go the extra mile for his audience, and as the quality improved, his dream of becoming a talk show host was actually coming to life just on Twitch. And when the global pandemic hit in 2020, forcing everyone to try and fill the entertainment void in their lives, Ludwig was right there to pick up the slack. He is the greatest Pokemon player of all time. I, I am in disbelief. If he gets the burn here, he deserves 100 gifted subs. Oh! No! No way! Who's gonna be Mr. 500K? There it is! Now I can be true with my furry self. Sniffs rough rough. What's your fursona? On the day I hit 500k, you do this to me? He said he doesn't have time to teach me. He said Ludwig. Okay, uh, teach Ludwig? Well, I could teach Ludwig. Uh, uh, well, uh, what, what's XQC up to? Apparently my viewer count Who too low. Who gave the Latvian Gambit advice? So his one piece of advice hey, Carl, you was look so the shocked. Latvian Gambit. But now what do I do? Now what the f*** am I supposed to do, Hikaru? I don't give a f*** if Gordon Ramsay throws up watching this. I will be cooking steak to the best of my dumbass ability. See, if I was like, like cultured, I would know where I am. But I'm not. So I don't. <gasps> Mario! But there's only so much entertaining anyone can do without feeling burnout starting to creep in and Ludwig was no exception. After nearly three years of streaming, he was ready for a break. On February 16th, Ludwig announced he'd be taking a hiatus from Twitch and YouTube to visit friends and family in his native New Hampshire next month. Guys, I'm going on break. I'm leaving. I'm out. Pack the bags. Dip it. It was real. It was fun. Wasn't real fun. Time for me to go. Bon voyage. Other phrases that mean goodbye. Sayonara. I think it's Japanese. But it wasn't the relaxing holiday Ludwig had hoped for. On March 4th, he had to undergo an emergency appendix surgery. But I, don't, I guess appendicitis is like a really big deal. I guess, apparently, if your appendix bursts and you don't get rid of it quick enough, you can die or something. I don't know. I don't know what people did like 300 years ago. Did they just die? Is that what happened? They would just die because of their appendix. I guess. I don't know. I, apparently. Shout out to modern medicine. I was born in the right era. About a week after his surgery, Ludwig returned to LA and to streaming full time. But it wasn't going to be business as usual. He had something different in mind for his comeback. We are going to be doing our first ever uncapped subathon. And when I say uncapped, I mean if this bitch goes 48 f***ing hours, I will be live for 48 hours 72 the next one after that when you add 24 hours for another day all of it this sunday we will start and i have no clue when we will end what ludwig didn't realize was that 72 hours wasn't going to cut it since the amount of time he'd have to spend on stream would increase by 10 seconds with every new sub he got and his viewers were determined to make ludwig keep at it as long as possible. So I thought it'd go a day or two, uh, and then like three, four days in, I was like, oh shit, this might go longer than I thought. I don't have a boyfriend. You do? Twitch.tv has a boyfriend. Just for a few days. 
That's what you said four days ago. Consider it a work trip. This is the worst work trip. Stop subscribing, you monsters. The uncapped subathon started on March 14th and kept Ludwig on air for an entire month. The max amount of time he was willing to keep going. To everyone who keeps subbing and gifting the moment it hits one, I want you guys to know there's actually no way for it to go under one. The way we have the timer set up. Cause it's a one, it's like, a, it's the timer's like it's made of one piece. And uh, and there's no way for it to go under. It's called one piece rule 34 if you look it up. What the f are you telling What's up? What are, you, what are you doing? For the record guys, romance is dead. <laughs> No, like, fall, like, what'd you have for breakfast today? Oh, I didn't. Could have had some of this dick. Okay. I've gifted 5,079 subs to Mango. Thanks. Wow, Lud. One, eh? That's all you got for your boy? 200k <laughs> subs? You're no better than Ninja, you know that? <laughs> you and Ninja. Ninja got 269k subs, <laughs> and then he unsubscribed to me. <laughs> so f both of you. When the cameras finally turned off on April 14th, after broadcasting Ludwig's life to his viewers for a whopping 700 hours, he had beaten the record previously held by Ninja for the most sub to Twitch streamer. Okay. Yo, 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 what's going on? Uh, I don't know if you heard, I just broke your record. The f what you say to me, you little shit? No, I, I just, I just, <laughs> I just broke your, I, no, I, I'm just saying I broke your record, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm big time, it's not like I'm, I'm f***ing Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm just saying that I just broke the record, I'm Tell just, my brother, Leonardo, you're trash, kid. Okay, I don't even know the peak number of subs I had off the top of my head, so, uh, it wasn't that impactful, I think, the entire journey was just what was so overwhelming uh, and just streaming my life for a month and how much support I had. And I happened to get a record, which I'll boast about until the day I die, even if someone takes it. But it, it wasn't like, I don't think it hits you in any way. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But most people would argue that having nearly 270,000 Twitch subs to your name was a huge deal. And the hype didn't end with the subathon. Ludwig continues to hold the record for most sub to Twitch streamer while having one of the most active sub counts on the platform right now. His fellow streamers' reactions ranged from mildly supportive to downright insulting. What I told Stans, I remember vividly telling Stans, I was like, bro, <laughs> both of us make like 10x what Ludwig makes right now. I'm pretty sure very soon, not only will he make more than us, he'll make more than us combined. I remember saying that. And that was back when he had like no viewers. But I think it's kind of cool to talk about because I think Ninja did it the old stream way where like Ninja just played games 12 hours a day. Whereas like Lud did like all kinds of different content. So it's kind of cool. Like the number one and two is like Ninja did it the old school Twitch way and Lud did it the new school Twitch way. Anybody will come along and will say, yeah, like, like the Lud would take it. People will call oh, it's not about Thomas, being the first, but doing it better. Call you a terrible person for weeks on end. Okay, so what are you going to do when you're at the top then? You're just going to wait every time and you're just going to not innovate, to just on chill until Wendy's all the people that, that try things with, do it and then you just the copy them and do it better? Come on, man, don't stop me like that. But no matter what anyone had to say, the subathon made Ludwig a bunch of money a sizable portion of which he donated to charity. It earned him the devotion of hordes of new fans and cemented his place among streaming's elite. I'm very cognizant that if I have 20,000 people watching me, you know, a minute of stream time is 20,000 minutes total of like human time, which is like so much. So I, I really don't want to waste people's time um, because I'm taking up so much of it. And with time becoming a very real, tradable resource online, other notable Twitch personalities have expressed an interest in trying to one-up Ludwig by running their own subathons. But he insists it's not about the numbers. Here's the thing about subs. I got them. It doesn't give you happiness. I would try something else. 
Records don't get you happiness, so we should just leave this record for eternity. Whatever happens with his record going forward, it's undeniable that Ludwig has set a new benchmark for the rest of the streaming community. He emerged from the primordial ooze of early Twitch as part of a new breed of entertainers, one that sees streaming as a legitimate calling, worthy of as much dedication as any so-called real job out there. I think being successful at streaming is preparing yourself uh, the best way possible for when luck hits to be ready and to be sick. Because uh, it can strike at any time, and if you're not ready, that might be your only chance. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.